What's up, world? My name is Brad Marquis, and you are watching Efficacy, brought to you by The Bloom Effect and Fiona Bloom. First and foremost, I want to thank you, Fiona, for having me on. It's a, it's a pleasure. It was an honor to meet you the other day as well at the new soul event. Um, for those of you who do not know me, I'm an R&B soul singer. Um, she's been doing this for a very long time. Let me get let me get to these questions and you know and actually the one of the first questions is when did I know that I wanted to do this? Um, I was in college actually and I was at a fashion show slash talent show and they had fashion skits and they had talent skits and the host and hostess knew I was in the crowd and they had more fashion skits than they had talent. So they asked me, and they came down and asked me, Brad, you know, will you come up and will you perform at the end of the show? And I was like, absolutely not. I did. I wasn't into it like that. I didn't want to be into it like that. You know, I was, you know, still wet behind the ears, so to speak. And um, they just wouldn't leave me alone all night long. They kept prompting me from the stage. We have a special guest in the night. Special guest in the night is going to come. He's going to do some, do this show for you, blah, blah, blah. He's not on your, you know, your bulletin. And the end of the night comes, lights go off, spotlight hits me in the crowd, and the crowd just erupts. And it was like three, four hundred people there. You know, I ended up, I, I had to go to the stage. So I walked to the stage, and I ended up singing Joe's No One Comes Close. And I got off the stage, and the host and hostess was like, Brad, stop, Brad, stop, turn around. At this point, my ears were turned off. I couldn't hear anything. I was just zoned out. And. I turned around and I just heard the roar of the crowd and I saw the lights on my face and it was just a, that epiphany like, I could do this. I'm going to do this. And it's been on and popping ever since. Um, my favorite new artists, some of my favorite new artists, I would have to say Chris Brown. I love him. He, you know, he's going through his thing, but he's young. You know, everybody makes mistakes. He needs a second chance, you know, but I love his music. You know, he's very... Uh, one of the very few artists out there that you can hear his personality in his music, you know, pop artists, so to speak, you know, um, artists of, that I work with, Tess Boogie, love her, um, M Island, um, Eric Roberson, love him, uh, whew, Calvin Richardson, I love his new album, you know, Facts of Life, um, so many of Mary J, you know, Jodeci, there's so many artists out there, I can't possibly name them all, but, you know, I listen to you know, uh, a different array of music from hip hop to pop to rock to soul to everything. So we can sit here and probably talk about each genre for forever. Um, the biggest highlight of my life so far, music wise, had to be when I performed at the Apollo, Showtime at the Apollo. Um, it was an amazing experience walking across that stage and performing where all the greats stood, the Marvins and the Donnies and uh, James Brown's, psh, that was an amazing experience. You could almost feel them on the stage as I walked across, and the crowd, you know, loved me. That was the first time I was introduced to New York, and New York just reached out and grabbed me and embraced me, and, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful, so thankful. If I could perform with anybody, dead or alive, um, it'd be two people, it'd be two people. It can't be just one, it'd be two. It'd be... Sam Cooke, and I say Sam Cooke, he's, he's my hero, man. I love, I love his voice. I love his tone. I love everything he did for everybody, <laughs> you know, and it would be Biggie. Love Big, you know, all-time favorite artist next to Sam Cooke, you know, that whole Bad Boy era was it for me. Uptown Bad Boy, I was it. Um, if I could have a big campaign, what would it be and where would it be? Um... I know it would be in China. Why? Because they got just cabillions of people there. What? <sighs> Coke. <laughs> Coke. Big Coke campaign around the world, you know, just doing what I do. You know, hopefully being Brad Marquis, the singer in a Coke commercial. You know, I'm sure it'll work. It could work. You know, if I could sing in another language, it. I guess it'd be French. It's a lover's language. You know, I used to live with French roommates, so I used to hear it all the time. You know, and it just sounds real smooth and real cool, real, real Billy Dish. <laughs> you know, if he actually spoke French. Maybe he does. I don't know. Um, yes, I love spicy foods. 
I love spicy foods, you know, the Indian food. I put hot sauce on everything. You can thank my grandfather for that. You know, all the peppers and all that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm sure he was putting hot sauce on my chicken when I was like five years old. So it just doesn't even affect me right now. You know, that buffalo hot sauce, some of that stuff they have up north, I'm not messing with it. You know, the, the, the habanero sauce they be having down in, you know, some of those uh, Hispanic countries. No, I'm trying to live. I like I like going to the bathroom, I, you know, surgeries, no. Um, don't have much of a sweet tooth. I don't eat a lot of sweets, not much, you know. Uh, uh, just just never really got into it all like that. Um, let me think. If I had a million dollars in cash, what would I do? Well, the first thing that came to my mind is pay off my school loans, <laughs> my college loans. Second thing I would do is put myself out you know, the way I envision it and put out some of the artists that I'm working with, you know, the way they would, you know, want to be seen and the light that they would want to be seen, you know, and, and push my Soul Man Music Group label. Remember that, soulmanmusicgroup.com, bradmarkey.com. It'll be up real soon, like later, real soon. Probably up maybe by the time you see this. So check for it. Um, if I could sleep with anybody? Who would it be? Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me see. Any words of wisdom I would have for up and coming artists? Just don't quit. Don't give up. Keep pushing. You know, if you want it, you'll have it. You just got to pay your dues and put in the work. My favorite application on. I have an iPhone. My favorite app is Remove Them. I love playing that video game. I'm addicted. I can admit it. I don't need therapy because I'm not going to stop. There you have it. Favorite social app? Facebook. I check that. I check it religiously. My favorite word? Pop. My grandfather. Love him to death. Best man I know. <laughs> favorite thing to do with him is riding a car just talking to him because he's a he's a wonderful man but that's my time brad marquis efficacy i want to thank fiona bloom i want to thank the bloom effect i want to thank my home girl detrell love you she's always looking out for me and always pushing me forward and always opening up doors that i don't know without her i don't even know if i don't know i don't know but i thank you thank you all peace Check me out, bradmarquee.com, soulmanmusicgroup.com.